Hi, my name is Anaf and this is going to be a series where I make a Reddit-like application using Python and React and MySQL and some other stuff. So it's going to be fun and that's why you should keep watching. So firstly, we're going to be creating our backend application, which is going to be just a monolithic Flask application. And before we move on to the front end, the Flask application is necessary because it's all just going to be like backend logic and stuff. So let me just make a folder called backend and go there um but before i actually make that let me first make a uh, mysql database thing or you know what before we do that let's just make the flask application so let me make a virtual environment first virtual end and let me just source this so i have that and let me just make a requirements txt so we're going to have flask and i also want to use probably pi mysql as the connector and we're going to be using mysql as the database by the way so yeah we're going to be using pymysql and we're going to be using sql alchemy so sql alchemy uh, sql alchemy and let me take a look at that um configuration and it uses um pymysql so let me take a look at that uh we can have MySQL plus PyMySQL, so let's do PyMySQL and then Flask SQL Alchemy. And what else do you need? We can have Flask Migrate. Because that's all we're going to need for now. But we're also going to be needing uh, dot .env. We're going to be having that. Now what I can do is I can just do pip install dash r requirements.txt. It's just going to install everything. Hey, great. Now let me just connect to MySQL. And let me just create a user. Uh, create user mm, Z Reddit at percentage. Since I uh, since this is in a Docker container, I want it to be accessible from everywhere. Identified by, let's call it Z Reddit123. Uh, this is a bad password. And then create database Z Reddit grant all privileges on zredit dot asterisk to zredit at percentage blush privileges okay so we have just created our own database and now let's just do let's just make a dot n so we can have a database uri and the database uri is just going to be this let me copy this um it's going to be PyMySQL. We're going to be using PyMySQL as a driver. Username is going to be Z Reddit. Z Reddit123. Uh, the port's the same thing. And it's just Z Reddit. Yeah, we don't need anything else here. Or we might as well just have something like. Um, you know what? Never mind. We have that. Now let's um, make a folder called API. I'm going to do. We can do app.py. Now let's just do app.py here. So first we're just gonna have from flask import flask. And then we have an, an app factory to app. And we're gonna put everything else in the middle. So from uh we can have our own extensions.txt here. So let's just do that. Call it extensions.py. And here I can just put in um, from Flask SQL Alchemy, import SQL Alchemy. The DB is just going to be SQL Alchemy. I'm not going to have an app yet, but we're going to um, try that. So from dot extensions, import DB, and it requires a name. Here, and we can do um, db dot. Wait, for some reason my film's not working. Does it work now? Huh? Okay, that's strange. Okay, never mind. It just took a while. We can do db dot. In it app. 
we're gonna have that and probably for a config i might as well just create my own config thing we do config.py and here i also want to do import os and class app config i'm gonna do uh what's the name of the variable it's gonna be sql alchemy database uri we're gonna do sql alchemy database uri it's gonna be os dot byron it's gonna be database uri if i'm not wrong with my uh my delta nth thing yeah my delta nth thing should be fine and i'm gonna create a whiskey.py we're just gonna be like importing it so from api dot app import make app and we're gonna have the application here if so we're just like checking if the script is run by python app dot run debug equals true port equals 5000 and host okay, nice and we also want to do from dot env import load dot env and I'm gonna, I want to load that first. Now, if I actually do that, let me um, put this here first. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. For some reason, I'm having um, some problems here. Wait, how about I actually try to do this? Okay, it is working. But why does it run two times? Was it just me? That's interesting. It's running for two times. Why is that? Okay, never mind. So if I visit this on the browser, oh, I don't have that set here. Okay, it says not found, which is great. So I just have that. For some reason, I'm still getting import errors, but that is just Vim. I can just do api.extensions. Does that work? I just keep it as it is. Okay, so what else do you need over here? We need the database. Oh no, we need to first um load the config. So app.config dot from object. I'm gonna pass in the thing here. So from api.config import app config app config and this should be the config here and did it connect to the database yeah i think it did i think it did great now we need to set a flask mic right so that we can have our models here so but i think i do have flask migrate let me do this first okay so from flask migrate import migrate and this is just going to be migrate the app so this is going to be db and i can just do migrate here i can just do migrate dot init app app and boom i have this here as well or maybe I can just take the, uh, you know what, just keep it as it is. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, I think this is just fine. I also want to import the migrate over here as well. But just in case, like, I want to do the migrations here. I can probably do, um class db init this is great so we have our migration thing set up and if i go to migrations yeah i have everything set up here right i can go to models and i can just make a folder called models here so models and first let me try creating a user model so I just do user.py and from API dot extensions import um, DB, but it should have DB here. It does have DB, so why does it not work? 
picking them. Um, so I'm gonna just have claws and this is gonna db dot model. I'm gonna have a table name, so um table name users. And for now, I actually forgot how you do that with SQL Alchemy with learning models. I actually forgot. Okay, yeah, so I might as well even import UID. So from UID, import UID4. And this is gonna be a db.string. So I need this to be a db.string here. Primary key is gonna be true because I wanna use UIDs here. UUIDs. 36. What I'm gonna do the default is gonna be lambda and then uid4 x i'm just gonna have hex here if that's not a problem and then probably a you know what i'm gonna declare the other things later for now i just want to like try the migration so alembic uh so not alembic flask db migrate dash m declaring user model that says no schema detected oh okay yeah i forgot to do one thing that is to hmm. do i need to import the models here if so let me actually do an init.py so from dot user import user i'm just going to keep it as it is then I'm gonna to go to whiskey and then from api.models import asterisk that way whenever I just do like a migration it says it detected the table users so if I do flask db upgrade I can just do mysql and I can connect using the credentials so the reddit123 oh wait I forgot how you set the password my bad oops yeah okay and if i do show tables oh okay wait use the reddit show tables and yeah i have two tables now so the users and the 11 question so if i do select asterisk from users i have nothing okay but i can do describe users and you see um, I have a varchar32 primary key and some other shenanigans. That's great. We have everything set up now, including our migrations. So now I want to set up our routing, and uh, which is basically going to be our blueprints. And I like to call them controllers here. So basically, they're just, they're just controllers, like a set of controllers. So I can just do a uh, controller. And I can have them over here. Controllers. Or I can just call them routers. You know, to be honest, I don't care routers i click this and i just call this a uh, user routes.py lost import law of oh, blueprint now i can do user router or i can just yeah let's call it user router and this is going to be a blueprint and what does a blueprint need it needs a name user the import name and the URL prefix is gonna be slash users. Yeah, that's all we need. And you can do user router dot get at at me, which is gonna be the uh the currently logged in user. So dev get current user return on um, this is me. And I'm also gonna be including formatting, but that's gonna be later. Because right now I don't really care about formatting. But I also want to do, um, I want to import the routers later. So from API or routers dot user router, import user router. Or I can just, uh, yeah, I can just do the user router import user router. And I can do app dot uh add blueprint 
Is it that blueprint or wait? Take a look at this flask. The modular blueprints and there's gonna be oh register blueprint, okay. I forgot that, my bad. And if I run the application now, it says there's nothing called user router. Oh, it's user routes, my bad. Yeah, okay, it's running now. And if I do slash users, slash at me, yeah, I get this is me. So our routing system is working as well. Now I want to make services. So the architecture of this application is going to be like routers, models, and services. We're going to have like services for everything. We're not going to run our business logic in the routers themselves. So we can have a uh, services. I can just have a user service.py. And the user service is just going to be like a single clause. As user service and I'm also going to be creating like a database context where every single service will have access to the database I'm gonna make something like that but later for now let's just create um create user and then us I'm just gonna make it like this for now then I as well even have a base service which inherits a database context I'm just gonna make a base service or just base.py and I'm gonna do from API dot extensions import um import DB and I'm gonna do class base service def init And this is all we're gonna have here so i don't want to import the db thing for like every single service i'm just gonna import it for a few specific services i'm sorry i'm just gonna like import it in one service and then i'm gonna have others inherit this so from dot base import um base service a user service and this is gonna be base service i can just do um l.db that should work and if it doesn't that's fine i need to have an init as well okay so we have all this and now i want to import the services like this so i want to do from dot user service import user service so the user service is just going to be user service i'm just going to create an instance of the user service and if this was fast API or Spring Boot, I was gonna have dependency injection. Although Python has libraries for dependency injection, I just don't wanna overcomplicate things. So I'm just gonna like create an instance of the services and that's all I'm gonna do. And now I can just go to the service and instead of just doing pass, let me just do print created user, or let me just return the string itself. Create a user. And now I'm gonna have the router. The router is gonna import from here. Uh, so from api.services, import user service, and then user service. So user service dot create user. Now I can run the application. I can go here and says created user. So yeah, this is okay. So we have basically created our backend application on um, like code base and we can start working on the backend from the next video.